Hello to you on this very fine day. I'm hoping that all of you are fine and are having a very dark day. Eat the good food, you stupid idiot, not the berries. We are in the twilight forest gathering some wood for the coke ovens. And no, 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 don't you worry. That's not it. We have way more. And just in case you're confused, uh, this is why I wanted the magnet. Also for gathering ores, resources, and etc. I see you. Since we are in the twilight forest, we might as well deal with the Naga. I just hope it ends well. Were we supposed to hit the head? Okay. Good. We're done. Uh, just out of curiosity, was it? Oh, yeah. Here. I was gonna say, wasn't he supposed to drop some garbage? Where's the trophy? Oh, I have also found a target of opportunity. I hate poisonous spiders. Oh, we're getting a few pieces of garbage. Uh, walnut. Ooh. I haven't tasted walnut. Steel sword, a chest, that's it. For what we want to do next, I need to gather a bit of resources. We have a ton of plastic. I call it plastic, apparently it's rubber. And no, I don't know the difference. I'm really not a chemist. The only part of chemistry that I'm interested in are acids. I don't really know, I just like them. We should be able to make half a stack of electric motors, but that's not enough. Let's try to make one stack. Yep, perfect. I'm out of wires. No. I made so many wires just to make sure that we're not going to run out of anything. Anyways, what I'm doing is not very important. I got an extra heart and broke my floor. Uh, joking aside, uh, let me craft everything. I'll be right back. Well, in this mod pack, you can't really plan anything. Sometimes there is a crisis. We're out of steam. And you have coal. But you are making steam. You are consuming two or three milli buckets every second, every tick or whatever. So each tank can have three of these guys. The question is, can we make four of them? Yeah, I think we should. It depends how much electron tubes we have. Oh, we don't. And by electron tubes, I actually meant vacuum tubes, but uh, apparently we don't have anything. Uh oh. Well, I was about to make a few stacks, so I guess I should hurry. This very stupid and very expensive side project of making four additional boilers is breaking my back. We're out of steel. Just to let you know, each one of the boilers is going to require a huge steel fluid pipe, correct? And I did make it. I have all the eight. But do you know how it's made? Each one of them requires six double steel plates. So you need 24 steel just to make the pipes for one boiler. And then, you know, you obviously need to make the casing, the boiler chassis, which does require more steel, and of course the pumps and the circuit. But this is going to hugely delay our advancement to the MVH because, well, you do need steel. So I'm sorry, despite what I said last episode, it's not gonna happen. But that was a tin screw, and we're out. This is why people have mixed feelings towards this mod pack. You never have enough. So we need eight pumps. Good. And then I just have to make the circuits. Um, I did make vacuum tubes. Oh, we had vacuum tubes. Oh my goodness, that was very stupid. Also, I think I did figure out what the hell is wrong with steam. Uh, it's not the machines or it's not that the boilers are not great. I think it's this, the battery buffer. Because the moment that the battery buffer got full, we started getting steam. However, I don't really think this is going to be a waste because your progress is measured by how much power you're going to consume. And well, for us, steam is power. Oh, you're a wolf. I was looking at the map. I couldn't see him. So, one more boiler, two, three, and four. And you're a bronze fluid pipe. I don't have that much bronze. Uh, we use potin? Do we need more potin? We might. Oops. Yes, I have a wrench. This is not my day, everything breaks. But ladies and gentlemen, this should be a crazy amount of power. Steam. Oh, I kind of forgot, uh, do you output from the bottom? Uh oh, oh, you're empty, you're just water. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you output from the bottom, but you do from the side. Yes, it's an easy fix, don't you worry. So a weird thing, the pipe can handle six buckets of fluid, right? But we are constantly getting three buckets of fluid. Why? I think I have configured the pipe, so, oh. Apparently not all of them. Okay, that was the problem. We are getting four and a half thousand buckets of steam. Ouch. Then again, maybe not. Unfortunately, we are out of potin, but I have a solution. We have an extra one here. I mean, obviously I can make more potin, it's just that I'm lazy. So we put the big one and we block this side. Yeah, now the number is changing four and a half thousand. Good. I still have no idea because these guys should be able to transfer that. Oh, and by the way, water is keeping up. Good. Look at all that steam. Nice. I read somewhere that these boilers can handle four turbines. We have six, so that's 24 turbines. 
The problem is that if we want to use it in MV, it's going to be 6. And considering the fact that it's going to be less efficient, maybe 5. And yeah, this is not going to happen, double stainless steel plate. Honestly speaking, who cares, we will add more boilers, until we can switch to diesel. So what to do with all the steel that we have just lost? Because I'll be honest with you, that was a ton. Ooh, block of lapis. We don't need that. I don't like Steve cards. I'm sorry. Sword of the Cosmos. Copon. Coupon. What? Oh, it makes copper. Well, most of the ore crops are not going to be very useful for us because ores are not a problem. But let us fix our immediate problem. Steel. Uh, we have five blast furnaces. What if we make three more? Because with this recipe, it's actually pretty cheap. And yeah, I know I have bricks. I just don't know where I put them. Oh, here. Gypsum. More gypsum. Oh, and more bricks. So let me try something and I'll be right back. You know, it's always a shame that you want to make something and you're missing just one block. Anyways, that's not very important. What I wanted to know is that can we put it in the back? Are we good? Okay, it does work. So we can have eight or maybe ten. I don't know. You can make torches using bamboo and sulfur, but at a very garbage rate, this doesn't work? No. I mean, the rate is good. The speed is garbage. Anyway, since we had a decent supply of charcoal, I did refill the blast furnaces and we're processing steel. Even this stupid guy in the back. But the main problem is that we're out of calcite because I used it for concrete. You know, these guys. The amazing ones. Yeah, this is the last one. So obviously I need to go mining and we need the torches. But this time it's going to be a bit different because I am going to go to the twilight forest and we're going to try and get tons of ores. Everything that we can put our hands on. Oh, and by the way, now that we are doing this, I realized uh, there is a void upgrade. Resonant Ender. Actually not a very bad idea and I do have a decent supply of Ender Pearls. So I need a trash can. Thank you, thank you. And as usual, how the hell do we want to do this? Um, You have red alloy. I don't know how to empty them. I'm sorry. I know it has been fixed in the update. So you're gonna melt some ender pearls. Very slowly. And you're going to be circuit number one. That's it. Why didn't I make it last time? So the question is how... Oh, it's only one filter. Do you need a filter? Oh, you also need a filter. I'm very sorry, but when I was playing 1.7 like 10 years ago, I was not very familiar with random things. Oh, you also take one filter. Oh, it gets fun. Oh, you get an item filter as a reward. I'm sorry. My bad. Oh, you can put multiple stuff in. <laughs> so nice. It's actually going to be cobblestone and netherrack. So if I mine cobblestone, are you going to avoid it? It might if you put the filter in. Let's try this again. Yep. Oh, and by the way, we should have gotten, yeah, a Jägermeister. I'm drunk. 59 minutes. There might be a solution. Yep. I have a bucket. Come on, give me milk. Oh, it worked. Okay, we're good. So I will go and do some mining and I will meet you right back. I should wait for the rest. It has been a crazy amount of time later and I did a ton of mining. All of the chests are full. And I'm not even joking, literally all of them. It's been such a long time that I don't really remember how many veins I visited, but essentially I went for lapis so that we get calcite. Oh, and obviously granitic mineral sand so that we get some gypsum. I also went for a lead vein in the twilight forest and look at all that silver. I don't remember this being a thing. Look, there's even more. But I also went to the nether in order to get some redstone and rubies because we want to make the coils for the blast furnace. I think they're here. And I think that's it. But we have plenty of resources and I'm very happy. However, in the meantime, I have been making a ton of blast bricks. It's not called blast bricks, fire bricks. At first I thought we were going to go with two more so that we will have a total of eight. But then I was like, yeah, let's make it an even ten. For the moment, we do have one stack of bricks and well, this is all the calcite and gypsum. And I think we need half a stack more. Maybe. Oh, half a stack more is going to be a lot more. Maybe I just have to go and gather more clay. Yeah, we need 20 more blocks. That's going to be around 10. This is going to be also around 10. Maybe not. These garbage blast furnaces that we have at this very moment are not going to be redundant after we hit the MVH. Because yes, that's true. We are going to get the electronic blast furnace, but that's mainly going to be used for making aluminium. And we need to make steel in parallel, so we need them for a while. Oh, and there's one more thing that I wanted to do. I disassembled our smeltery and I was thinking maybe we can put it somewhere around here. Also, the berries were a terrible idea. I know. Yeah, I think we should do that because this wall is too flat. 
Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make more fire bricks, I'm going to move the smeltery, and I'll be right back. The smeltery have been moved indoors, so that is good. And we have all the fire bricks that we need. I stopped it from working because I don't think we need more. If I'm not wrong, at this very moment, we have six blast furnaces, so we're going to need four more. Oh, it's four per. <laughs> okay, I am telling you, some of the recipes are just expensive. And unfortunately, I'm out of gravel in order to make some flint. Yes, gravel. We take it. But this is so nice, the river is frozen, almost. So we can take all the gravel that we want. We can make 44 furnaces, let's make it, we are going to use it later on. Four more blast furnace controllers. And I want to disassemble the blast furnaces from their current location and move them next to the coke ovens. So let's get a steel wrench. I think it's going to be faster to break the blocks. Oops. Didn't know you can do that. Yes, do not open your door with a wrench. Oh, this is gonna take ages. Yeah, this is gonna take ages. Um, see you in 2024. I thought I'm going to be a genius, but I ended up with half a stack more blocks. And I don't know why. And yeah, that is exactly 10. How did I do that? Oh, we are out of wood again. How is this even possible? I really don't like having floating trees, but maybe in the twilight forest we should make an exception. We're not gonna live there. But let us get 10 stacks of iron. We can't carry it, which is fine. I think in this way, every half an hour, we're going to get 50 steel ingots. It's not that bad, honestly. I say that, but we don't even have enough charcoal. But that should last for four hours. These guys are faster. Uh, the coke ovens. Oh, and by the way, before I forget to mention, yes, I did fix the other side of the smeltery. It's not finished, but it will be. Sleeping is also not the worst idea. The first use of our smeltery is going to be for some reinforcement modifiers. That is going to be for the lumber axe. So you can go there part builder, pattern chest, and the other thing. And since we had an empty slot, a larger chest. Yep, much better. We also need light, desperately. I do understand that I have weird habits, but um, I did bring some scaffolding. And this stupid thing is more than 64 blocks tall. So what if we chop it like so? Oops, lag. Also, what the hell happened? Why can't I pick them up? This magnet is weird. Ooh. That was actually a very bad idea, because now it's no longer a tree. Yep, really bad idea. Exactly, now it's not even working. <laughs> okay, let's go to that one. Oh, there's actually so many of them. You're an ore. You're lead. Nice, we chop it down. Holy, I think the only reason it stopped was that I ran out of saturation. Oh, are you going to drop aluminium? Arsenic. These, we should have a mob farm. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so much easier. Also, when I was breaking the smeltery, obviously I voided all the items inside, and therefore we're out of obsidian. And if I want to make more reinforcement modifiers, I guess we need to find one of those obsidian pillars. Well, I did find one, but I actually used all the obsidian in order to make the boilers. But the axe broke. Ah, so this is why it stopped. Well, I could not find one in the twilight forest. We come here. Another very small thing is that we do have a few rewards here to claim. For some reason, since we are playing hardcore, I'm actually killing more mobs. I just went to the twilight forest and gathered a lot more wood. The problem is that our barrel does not have enough capacity. Oh, that was a quest. Nice. So I think first we have to apply this upgrade. Oh, for the other ones I was using Mark 1. This one is Mark 2. So yeah, you need a Mark 1. Uh, so how do you make a Mark 1? Okay, so here is Mark 1. We have Mark 2, and we have some upgrades. So, Mark 1, Mark 2, and some stack upgrades. Yeah, we should have done this ways back. That is 122 stacks. While we are replenishing some of our resources, mainly steel, I thought we'd do some projects around the base. Obviously, there are not going to be huge projects, but we are going to need way more concrete. Like, way, way more. And I was also thinking, maybe we should start making some lights. Only 8? Why is it 8? Oh, glass. Are you better with a cutting machine or just a saw? So saw gives you two. Let us first cut these ones. It is going to give us the flat lamp and it's not the worst thing in the world. Also, there was a light from Ender.io. It's just that I think it's going to be extremely expensive. So this is powered light and if you give it power, it's going to be far better than a normal torch. But that's really not gonna happen. We want this one. Technically speaking, we could have made it at a way cheaper price. Oh, but we can't make silicon. <laughs> yeah, it's a blast furnace recipe. Okay. Also, later on, when we get into Ender.io and we manage to make a painting machine, uh, we can color some of this concrete with glowstone. 
Yeah, something like this should work. We should be able to remove the torches. Obviously, just from the corridor, not everywhere. Also, the kitchen. Good. Uh, for the smeltery, I thought we can do something like this. Yeah, why not? I know, the base is going to take a lot of work. Before we wrap up today's episode, there are a few things that I want to do. I want to go on a very small adventure. I'm looking for some plants, I'm looking for some ore veins, and I'm looking for some biomes. I'm taking some fertilizer just in case I find fruits. I'm not really sure how it's going to go, but I guess we go north. And if I do manage to find something of interest, I'll bring you in. And you know, in hindsight, I should have made a boat. Yeah, this is 1.7, boats might break. Well, I did manage to find one thing of interest, the lavender fields. And also the blue orchids. If you guys remember, we need these kind of flowers in order to make the rainbow curry, and that is used in order to get the healing axe. It's very nice that both of them are next to each other. Uh, we need 20 of each. Well, lavender is not going to be a problem, it's everywhere. Yep, now we're good. Ladies and gentlemen, our most important discovery. Pepper. I'm really so excited. I wanted this. Well, I have been exploring and I ran into a lignite vein. I was like, why the hell not? I love lignite. It does sound so much more posh than coal. At this stage of the game, there are not that many items that we can loot, but there's the Thorncraft dungeon. We gently walk in? What happened to gently? So we are 5 million blocks away from home. I should be careful. Oops. The leaves are decaying. Why? This is why you definitely need to have the extra hearts, because otherwise we would have been dead. Oh, there is a note. Huh. I hate skeletons. We shall light it up. Nothing should spawn. Oops. Except those guys. Kind of difficult to hit him. Yep. Yeah. We're good. So you're a trapped chest. And here is the trap. Oh, there's an own vein. I did mention that when I find something of interest, I'll bring you in. That's something of interest. Divination sigil, cosmic meatballs. And chrome. There is another one over there. We go. I know that they have a spawner, so we should be fast. Oh, and by the way, I find a cobalt ingot. It's useless, but fun to find. Okay, my secondary project for today, that's a baby creeper. <laughs> they are weird. But anyways, I was going to say that the plan for today, I mean, just before we wrap up today's episode, was that I wanted to make a kitchen. I even went to Bibliocraft's page and chose a few items so that we can have a canteen in our base and automate a few types of food. Uh, the problem is... Now we found everything for the healing axe. And also so many other food that we haven't tasted. What I'm basically trying to say is that our priorities have changed. Now we want the healing axe. So how do we get it? We already have submitted all the gardens. So we're good. Beef wellington is something that I'm eating at this very moment. So yeah, giving 20 of it was easy. And the other ones, sometimes we got them as a reward. So I have already submitted them, but we need to craft a lot. But it is going to be incredibly easy. For example, in order to make the delighted meal, we're going to need a cheeseburger. So there you go. Do we need all 20? Oh no, we need 16. Well, we have 16. We need some sort of a smoothie. Oh, we can actually make it. I guess we have the fries. Yeah, we ran out. Uh, the reason that I cannot find the smoothie, the armor is glitched, is that I don't think we have enough snow. Hello, handsome. How are you? I am very soon going to make a mob farm and I'm going to eat your face. And I already have the divination sigil. All we need is the enchantment table. It's a thumbcraft research, so it could take some time. So can I make smoothies? Yep. We make apple. We want 16. Fries are fries. Okay. They don't have a weird name. They don't call them anything else. Oh, we can also make hot dogs. Oh, we want sausage in a bread. I think we are out of salt. How do you make salt? Uh, one of you used to make salt. No? Ah, okay, it's just that. Fine. Anyways, you guys get to just let me prepare a few stuff and I'll be right back. Armor is glitched. It has been a while later and you might notice we have purple hearts. There were a few fruits that we were missing like fig and apricot and also lemon or grapefruit and that allowed me to make so many more food. And I have been cooking a lot of iron because I realized that the 8 coke ovens that we have actually work faster than the 10 blast furnaces. That is weird. But in other news... Look at the quest for the healing axe. I don't have to spend time on food anymore. I mean, eventually I'm going to make that canteen because I think it's going to look nice, but we don't have to. And that's the point. Optional things are things that you do for fun. Actually, we might as well take the steel. Why am I leaving it in? That should be 250. I think. 
Yeah, that's 250, great. The exploration part did not count because the chunks are not loaded, so yeah. Otherwise we would have had more. So I did not claim the healing axe, just because I wanted to tell you something. Do you see this rainbow curry? It's not a horrible recipe and the entire reason that I thought I have to automate food is that I wasn't sure if I can find lavender. And this is why today's exploration changed our plan, because we found lavender. And there you go, here is the quest. Give me my axe. I'm not sure if we can enchant this or not, but on its own it's actually a very garbage axe. No, maybe not, it's not that bad. But as long as we hold it in our hands, we're going to get food. Also, the funny part is that you can't kill anything with it, because it heals people. So that was the last of our food, and yeah, we're getting saturation. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.